Every video we ever uploaded on this channel has been edited on After Effects and making up to 3 videos a week with effects like this, animations like this becomes really time consuming. So let's talk about 10 ways to avoid mishaps and make the editing process super efficient. Now let's start with improving your performance. Once you're in After Effects, click on Edit, drop down and go to Preferences, then RAM and Performance. Here, you can prioritize how much RAM your software can use. Leave 2 GB for other applications, allocate the rest to Adobe Suite. This way, you will be able to improve your playback or preview speed. Again, in the Preferences tab, you will find Media and Disk Cache. Here, change the location of a cache to your fastest drive. This makes your previews and playback much faster. Tired of your software always crashing and you losing your project file? Click the drop down and preferences, except this time. Go to the auto save section. Here you can set how frequently you'd like Adobe to save your project file. Auto save your project file. Inspired from the macro king himself, if you are editing videos edit kar rahe ho and you need to go through your footage very quickly, hit the preview tab on the right bottom. You will find frame rate, set it to 1.5 times or 2 times more than your original frame rate. For example, if your video is 30 FPS, pe, then you can set it to 45 or even 60 FPS. If you have a funny layer, but you will be able to do editing much faster. If your preview is still slow, chal hai, you can go over here and press this icon to reduce your preview quality. If it is the most smooth, you can set it to set. Kar sakte. Now, moving on to dependencies. Do you move your file around too much, too often, and end up losing them, all you have to do is go to File, Dependencies. Here, you can either collect all the files that are stored randomly and bring them to one place. If you're really particular about a certain effect or font or footage, you can individually find them too. Now, is your rendering taking up a lot of time? Try enabling GPU boost in the media encoder. Though it might not provide a huge boost to you, you're looking at a 10 to 20% reduction in render times based on your GPU. Although, it doesn't mean that you buy 30 90 for hardware recommendation, ke liye, we've made a completely separate video and you can check that out. And talking about how Hardware, try to go for dual or quad channel RAM because your preview speed directly corresponds to how fast you can access your RAM. The dual channel literally means your CPU can access two times more RAM than a single channel. Remember the second point where we talked about cache? Ki baat ki? The best way to utilize that option is by going for a separate drive for your project files and cache and this is probably the cheapest way to instant upgrade for your editing PC. Do you use basic transformation tools like scale, opacity and rotation? Do you do it like this? Please don't. Here are a list of shortcuts for each one of these tools. This will make your timeline much much more organized. Finally, sixth point, yeah, dependencies ka tab use karke, you can also make templates for your most commonly used effects and animations to avoid any repetitive work. And that's it from our side. Agar aapko ye tips pasand hai, to like kijiye. Definitely let us know aap kya karte ho to increase your editing speed. Milte hai agli video mein. Until next time. Cheers.